So this one is the grapefruit and watermelon refreshing cleanser. I 1 million percent, I, I do not use facial cleansers unless they have some sort of like acidic fruit aspect to them. Um, I feel like my face doesn't get clean without it. Uh, and it also smells amazing and um, it doesn't leave you feeling dry, but it leaves you, you with your, your skin feeling really clean. And I feel like a lot of cleansers, if they don't have like grapefruit or, you know, some sort of like lemon or whatever kind of acidic limb or acidic, like fruity aspect to it, they just, they don't feel good. Oh, ooh, Michelle Priana added it to her bag. Amazing. Yeah, it truly is a refreshing cleanser. Um, I would say I always um, basically use something that's more oil-based to remove my makeup, but then I use a grapefruit cleanser. So I love this one. It's the same deal. You know, it's vegan. It's cruelty-free, 98.9% .9 natural. Um, yeah, it's just a natural and vegan beauty brand that like we talked about before, it's kind of like playing on the periodic table with its packaging, but it's also got this like Pantone sort of um, take on it with the, the colors. And yeah, you get 100, no, you get 3.8 um, fluid ounces of it. And it contains grapefruit essential oil, which has high levels of vitamin C. We, all, we already talked about how important vitamin C is um, and that aids in reducing the appearance of skin imperfections and oily skin, which I'm guilty of. I have oily skin, so this is why I like it so much. Um, and then watermelon seed oil, which provides hydration, rich in essential fatty acids, non-greasy. That is usually important for, you know, people with combination skin like myself that tend to have really greasy skin, but you have to be able to like cleanse it and keep it um, moisturized, right? At the same time and like hold that hydration in. So that's why I love this cleanser. Um, and then glycerin, which is a great, um, it's just a great ingredient that uh, provides moisturizing qualities to the skin. So like we just talked about. Yes, Taylor, you are a deep fried grease bath. Uh, yes, every photo I've ever taken of you, did I have to Photoshop your sort of like highlight, you know, oil spill grease marks? Yeah, yeah, I did. And I did that for you. Um, I'm not cyberbullying you. Everyone loves you. I'm not cyberbullying you. Uh, do I lipstick on my teeth? No. Okay. Oh, scary. I'm not cyber attacking you. I'm cyber attacking myself um, with the lipstick. But yeah, this is a great cleanser and I love it. It's also from the UK. So it's not in the US, but we love the British and we will support. We will support. Um, and just, you know, their note about usage, right, is to activate the jelly, wet your hand or cotton pad with water, take one generous pump of the jelly, I love that they call it jelly, God, they're so British, um, to a cotton pad or to your fingertips and massage to the eye area and remove makeup, wash away with generous amounts of water. Honestly, I don't use this to remove my makeup, but it sounds like you can. I'm very picky about my makeup removers. So, um, Taylor, you're beautiful. Stop saying that you're ugly. Um, yeah, this is a really good one. This is a great brand. Dr. Botanicals. Highly recommend. Smells incredible. Does its job. Uh-oh. Jack's trying to use British slang and called Taylor a plum. What exactly is a plum? Someone explain to me. Oh, oh, that's rough. Oh, no. Everyone be nice in the comments, okay? We're talking about skincare. This is a safe space, all right? Saturday, talking about skincare. Maybe I'll go into more of this sort of soothing voice. Maybe it'll change the tone. Let's go on to the next product. Actually, this product is perfect for this. No, Taylor, no more fighting. Okay, so 